Hey, it's Peter here, and in response to a customer request, thanks Rose, uh, I'm going to show you how to uh, plug your AirHarp Pico into any Apple Macintosh computer and use it with Apple GarageBand. Now the first step is to take your USB cable, uh, which comes with your AirHarp. There's two ends of it. One of them is large, and one of them is small. Plug the small end into your AirHarp like so. Then take the large end and plug it into your USB port of your computer. In this case, this is a Mac Mini, the USB port is in the back. There we go. That was me leaning on the keyboard there. there. Uh, so you notice that the light should come on right away on your ear harp. Uh, that indicates that the ear harp is getting power from the USB and it is working. Um, however, this is not enough to make music, unfortunately. You have to also have a uh, audio synthesis program. So we're going to hop on over to Apple GarageBand. I happen to have it in my dock here, but uh, just in case you have trouble finding it, let's remove it from the dock and, and let's go on over. I'll show you how to find it. So there's an applications folder here, which you may or may not have in your dock as well. Uh, probably the quickest and easiest way to find it is to click this uh, search uh, tool up in the upper right of your screen and then to simply type in GarageBand and notice it wants it wants to complete it for you and just hit enter and it will open and then as soon as this opens now we can lock it to the dock so um, I'm going to right click it down here and, uh, and by the way um, since some Apple mouses mice don't have a right click this is the same as control click so you can press control click and it's the same as a right click go to options and then just say keep in dock so that's going to keep it down here all the time so i can just grab it easily i can also if i want to move it over here i can like i can move it around like so pretty easy okay so now we have garage man opened we know how to find it quickly and easily i'm going to create a new empty project okay and I'm going to say choose. You can also go up here, file. Uh, well, I guess it's grayed out because I'm already in this menu. Okay, whatever. New project, empty project, choose. Okay. This is going to give me sort of an empty canvas here. And it's going to want me to create a track because you're going to want to create a track no matter what. Uh, you know, if you don't have a track, what are you even doing? So these are different types of tracks. And so these types of tracks would be like if I was recording my voice singing or let's say I was recording a sound of a guitar that's not what we want in this case we want a software instrument so we're going to we're going to select software instrument and then we're going to say create okay so notice we have the classic electric piano that is the default instrument that it will come up with so let's see how that sounds So that's kind of cool, um, but you know, let's say for for our purposes, we don't want that. You can go over here to the left hand side of the screen, and notice there's different options. So let's say I wanted, oh, I don't know, uh, a synthesizer sound. I could go over to uh, one of these. Um, I don't know what's loaded. Some of these you have to download and, and install. Um, let's try just some random, random synth sound here. Okay. So that's pretty cool. So let's say you don't have an air harp with you. What you can do is you can press Command K, and it'll bring up this little on-screen keyboard, which is pretty cool. You can actually play this with the keys on your keyboard. Oops, I must have pressed the button that started recording. Hmm. Well, one of the buttons I pressed started the recording process, so I must have pressed the wrong quote unquote button. But you know, this is, you, you know, if you have any type of instrument at all, you're better off using the instrument than this on-screen keyboard. This is this is just you know better than nothing. 
Um, you can also click over here and it'll take you over to this full keyboard view. And then you can really see, uh, let's first let's choose a different uh, instrument just for the sake of uh, being interesting. I don't even know what that is. So uh, you can you can see that it's showing you what uh, notes are being played on on the keyboard, which is kind of cool. So let's say I want to record something here. I can hit the record button, and um, let's get rid of the metronome because it's kind of annoying. Let's just let's just play some random stuff. Okay, that's my song. I'm going to hit stop. Now notice I can go back up here to this thing up here and I can just I can just position it at the beginning of this and I can just hit space and it'll play it. Now while that's happening, I can also change instruments if I want to. Like so, over here. And there's a whole lot more to this uh, program. I'm not, this is not a full course in how to use GarageBand. There's plenty of resources online for that. Uh, this is just showing you that uh, it's possible to just jump right in and start playing the air harp. So what I did here is I just looped this section and then I'm gonna just play around with different, different instrument sounds. Anyway, I hope that was helpful to you. Uh, Rose, good luck with your new harp. And this is Peter for the Air Harp Project. Cheers.